not want to sure. do that. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to do six. Why not? You're going to end up on Panini American. You're going to end up on Panini American. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Okay. So we use the same pen, which is super right. Same pen? Yep. So it's one of the best ones. You can't see the digits, yeah. Just like one. I'm just learning all the time. Water shoes want one. Mythical and Everyone always talks about it. Wow, he's a good one. catch. He's got, hey, he's got you guys back. You know what number you got? I thought they were building this switch before we see this. No, they did. So yeah, only, if it, only if there's none available. Not, 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 not no, no, no. You can get one switch. It's only 11. No, you can't get, right, you can get, you can get, uh, you can get the double digits under 20. Yeah. Right. So you can't get one, though. Every single switch. Come here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> what? Oh, Just right there in the wide area there. Seeing that card, that's going to be one of your first cards out there. Amazing, man. It's amazing. All my life, I've been fighting for stuff like this. And the sad thing about it, y'all didn't bring me one. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably arrange that. We could probably well, take care of that. Yeah, I'm here with University of Alabama superstar running back Trent Richardson at the 2012 Industry Summit. Just got through signing some of your first, your very first NFL. Trading cards from Panini America. What what were your thoughts when you saw that card for the first time? Uh, it's just uh, a lot of hard work and putting into it. And, uh, no, it's a, it's a dream just sh just make it this far and finally have my first NFL trading card. It, you know, it's a dream come true. So when it came down to it, it's, it's a lot of joy to my heart. And you know, it t says a lot about you know all my work ethic and all the hard work I've put into this point. Now you're coming off a pretty spectacular uh, college career, two national titles. Uh, Heisman Trophy finalist. Um, is there one moment from your career? I mean, because it's it's not common for players to have as m much success as you did. So is it easy for you to put one highlight from that career? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, you really can't never put one highlight career out of hand or with the team out of hand because we've had a lot of successful teams. Uh, only lost four games since I've been in college. And that's pretty hard to do. Out of three years. One two national championships, so it's hard to just put one moment to a highlight. Was there was there more satisfaction for you in beating LSU for a national title than beating Texas? Both of them was uh, you know pretty satisfaction uh, when it come down to it. Um, it really, both of them really mean a lot to me. I really just can't say one meant the most, but I think this last one here, it was more, you know, a lot of people know they had a game planning for me and, you know, trying to stop me. And, you know, we still beat them, and I scored the only touchdown in the National Championship game in the eight quarters they played the this, year, this, this season. So it was pretty big. For me. And uh, you, we're about five weeks out now from the NFL draft. Everyone uh, is uh, rightly projecting you as a top ten pick. Do you care where you go? Uh, I don't care where I go. Uh, I really just can't wait to I get the opportunity and hear somebody call my name and you know can walk up on the stage or you know just enjoy the time with my family. Let everybody know that hey, it's hard work. It's, it's all have paid off because we have came from. Uh, I know I came from a, a place where it's been a lot of struggle and stuff, and I've seen a lot of a messed up, a lot of messed up trials in my life. So it's gonna be a uh, lot of joy. If you could characterize yeah. what your life has been like from the end of the the Alabama season to getting ready for the draft. How would you sum that process up? Um, it's still hard work. Um, I don't take no days off. I haven't had a day off in the end of the season. Uh, and it's still going in season mode for me right now. I'm still training hard. And then, you know, I'm working for my pro day on um, April, the, the two, no, March the 29th. And from there, I'm going to be doing, you know, proud workouts. So it's still going to be hard work. Well, we, we, we appreciate your time, Trey, and wish you nothing but the best. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Thank you. The 2011 Heisman finalist and member of the Bar uh, University of Alabama National Championship football team. And in my mind, they guys should be the number one draft pick this year. Running back Trent Richardson, courtesy of Panini America and our friends at Peach State Sports. Again, thank you, Panini. Thank you, Peach State. A great signing to start off this year's summer. And welcome, Trent. Good. 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 Good.
job there, Carl. One, two, two, hey. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian, how's it going? It's going really well, Tracy. Um, glad to be here. I'm glad you're here as well. <laughs> yes. Two time now, Two time. Two time. Thank <laughs> you.